So I was laying in bed upstairs, and then uh, everybody else was down here watching TV. And then all of a sudden, boom, we heard this explosion, and we, you feel the house just shudder a little bit. And I just get out of bed, and I heard everybody's like, what, what was that? And I heard them yelling down here, and then, and then I heard a fire. And as I'm running down the steps, you know, I get to the hallway here and look out the window, you can see the fire next door. And then me and my son, Nate, all at the same time, we go through the garage, we run out, we run to the back of the house, and it's all you see is a big explode, a big hole sticking out of the back of the house, like a quarter of that house was just blown apart in that back corner where the master bathroom was, it was gone. And the flames were shooting through there. And then we just ran around to the front of the house, so like just went right to the front door. And then, um, I don't know if I tried to open the door, he did, but next thing you know, we were trying to kick it open. And it seemed like forever trying to kick that thing open. It wasn't not budging, it was like barricaded. We kept kicking and kicking. And I remember just taking a couple steps back and my son just kept kicking. And finally he got it open. And as soon as we got it open, I went in there and then the dog came running out. He was to my left over there. And um, probably the dining room that was when you walk in the house. But when you look up the steps, you can see the whole master bedroom and the bathroom was all just blown apart and then the fire, it was just all fire. You see fire and you couldn't get up the steps because all the junk and debris and insulation and whatnot was just everywhere. And so we're just yelling for it because we knew there was two kids there and, and parents. So we're yelling and I, I just kind of ran or just walked fast through the house because everything's falling and fire and I'm looking over by the couches and there's nothing, there's just smoke and Things are cracking, and I get to the back of the kitchen by the table. I'm looking, nothing, and, and there's a little balcony. It looked like another table where I didn't see nothing. I looked around, and just nothing, because all the junk, and you know, everybody yelling outside. And so I ran back outside, and you know, we're like, where are, the, where are the kids at? There's kids. There's nobody here. Where's everybody at? So I ran back in there, did the same thing, but I went and looked behind the couch, because I didn't know, you know, if they were, got blown back in there. And then I went back in the kitchen. I remember just looking underneath the table. And just, just the fire and the smoke and everything falling. It was like, it was like a nightmare. And I remember just looking over the back, nothing. I didn't see nothing. Just looked around and no bodies or nothing. Unless I bypassed them or whatnot, I don't know. And I ended up running out of the house. And next thing you know, it was just, in, it was just engulfed in flames. And it was like, it was like one, two, three. And then phew, it just went up. I mean, you couldn't even get near the house. And it was like. This inferno. I mean, it was just, it was surreal. It was just it wasn't what you would expect. I mean, it go up that fast. 